Hello friends, welcome to the SIBC IB Semester 4 Embedded System Practicals. Today's practical is to generate sine wave on 8051 microcontroller with the help of lookup table stored in data area. So this is the program we require. Very first we need registry 51.h, a library file or a package that you need to include. Second, you need to include in prints. This is specifically for this no function. So this no instruction does nothing but it just continues with the execution. So generally this is used to create a delay in the program. Then a void main function which is requirement of every embedded C program. Then we have taken one array of values, integer values. Uh, we have named the array as wave value and we have taken 12 values. It is not necessary to take 12 values only. Also these values are not compulsory to be there. You can vary these values and you will get the different sine waves. Then we have taken one i variable which we require for this for loop for further processing. In while loop, this is an infinite loop, in while loop we have taken one for loop which is going through all these values of the array from 0 to 12. And what this value is doing, this value is just setting the value of p1 that is port p1 to this value p1. And then we have called this no function twice. In fact, you can call these functions for several number of times, depend upon the delay that you want to use or the type or the time of the delay that you want to have in your program. Accordingly, we can use multiple number of this no operations functions. So here is how your ID will look like once you will be entering or writing your code into the key software. And this is how the sine wave will be created. This is actually just an impression of sine wave. It is not a truly sine wave because we have taken only 12 values to depict the sine wave. If you want the sine wave to be more smooth, you can increase these numbers. So let us see how the program is to be coded and how the program is to be executed to generate a sine wave. So to write a program, we require key software. So type here KEIL. It will search for you. Click on open. You will get this ID. So very first thing is click on project and close everything. Then to start with new project, click on project, new micro region project. Here you can navigate to your regular folder to store your project. So here project is a square wave so I give the proper name click on save now here we type ad 89c61 this is the processor or microcontroller that we needed don't click on yes for the startup code we are going to write our own code for this now you see your project is created now here in source code right now there is no file you have to add here a text file so click on this you can also click on file menu here you can actually type your code but here i am not going to type the code but i will copy paste my code as i have already explained this code here i am just pasting the code so right now this code is simple text file but we need to save it with c extension and then it will become an interpreted code so here I will use the same name as my project name. Remember it is not necessary to use the same name for your C file. But any relevant name can do. Click on save. Now to the source packet we need to add this C file. So you see this became C file and all the keywords are identified. So to add this just right click on source group, click on existing files and search here for square wave you see this is the c file click on c file click on add click on close and the c file has got added to the source packages now you can click on right click on target for the options under this target you can write your frequency 11.0592 and under the output tab you can click on this create hex file for instance click ok and now you can give your target by clicking on this menu or just right click and click on give target. 
So this will create a hex file with zero errors and zero warnings. Now to generate a square wave, click on debug mode, click on stop mode, uh, debug start stop mode, click on this copy. Now we will be taken here. In this, you have to view the output on logic analyzer. So click here and click the logic analyzer. So here is your logic analyzer. You can find this in your space so that you will be able to see the output properly. Now on port P1, we have set these values. So here we are in setup, we have to set the port P1. So click on this menu and type here port P1. Here for this port, the sine wave that you want to generate, you can choose the different colors. So click OK. Click close. Now to get the square wave here, sorry, sine wave here, you have to simply click run. So this will generate the sine wave. As I told you, this is not a purely sine wave. As it is not smooth, you can just check it in by doing it. Let's zoom in. It is actually a square wave because to generate the sine wave, you need many samples. And here we have just taken 12 samples. If you are going to increase the number of samples, it will become smoother. So as the number of samples will be more, the signal will look more smooth and signal will look more as a sine wave. So you can click on zoom in or zoom out to visualize the output neatly. So in this way, you can create the sine wave. More number of samples will create a smoother sine wave. To stop this, you can simply click on debug, stop debug session. This will take you back to your program. If you want the delay to be less, you can remove some of the NLP operations from them. And now you can check here that the delay that we are generating will be less. So click on build again so that it will take effect. Now click on debug, start session, click OK. Now you don't need to load the logic analyzer again, it is already there. Now you can simply click this and you see now the delay has been added. So that is how you can use NOP operation to create the delay of expected time. Here, click on debug and come back this way. Thank you for watching this video.